Hey guys, Phases. Thought I would do a video showing how a semi-automatic handgun actually works real quick. Or or maybe not real quick, but I'm going to show the video. I got the idea a little while back when I ran into some people in a handgun permit course who made it halfway through before being taught how it kind of worked. They thought they needed to cycle the slide manually in between each shot. So I thought, why not do a video and explain. I'm going to use my Glock 30. It's it's safe. There's nothing in the chamber. Nothing in there for uh, demonstration purposes. And then I've got a couple of more that I may or may not use. I just I don't know. You know, I'm winging it. But this is my 27. It too is safe. See down there. And then I've got a Glock 20 that is taken apart. In case I need to show something inside of there. So, this is a cycle. It's kind of a circle. And I don't know where best to call the beginning. So we're just going to start here. We're going to assume this is the start. This is how the handgun was handed to you. Or um, you shot your last round and it locked open. Which, that's how these are designed to operate. When your magazine is empty, it's sitting in there and you've shot your last round and it's empty, this locks open. This is to tell you that you're empty and to make it easy on reloading. You just drop it, throw an one in, and push this guy down or pull back and release. It'll shoot forward and chamber another round and you're ready to go. Okay, so this will be the start for our purposes. Alright, to start this off, I guess I will just point out a couple of things. You're going to need to trust me, I'll get to it in a minute, but when you pull this guy back, cocks, I guess we'll say it cocks it, and it makes the trigger ready to be pulled. I will, I guess I'll show you real quick. Alright, so it's empty. Point in a safe direction of fire. See how it's all the way back? This is one indicator that there's nothing in the chamber. If it's all the way back, you fire whatever's in there. Or you've, you've pulled it back with nothing in the chamber. Alright, so see how the trigger is now? There we go. So it's ready to fire. Now, a couple things have happened there. It's made the trigger ready to fire, and it's taken this guy. This is the backmost of what is called the striker, which I will get to in a minute, but it's pulled it back. It's a spring-loaded, kind of a big, long pin. It's spring-loaded back, and when you pull the trigger, it releases this, and it shoots forward, and that's what hits the primer on the back of the bullet and ignites it, okay? But we'll get to that in a second. So... <clears throat> when it's back, this guy's ready to be pulled, and it goes ahead and it gets ready to cock this guy anyway when you pull it forward. When you let this thing shoot forward, it takes your topmost round from your magazine. Now, don't anybody shoot me for showing, you know, live rounds on here, but it takes it and grabs it right here and just pushes it forward, and it comes out. This is spring-loaded, so the next one comes right to the top. And it goes into the barrel. See how it's, it's slanted nicely? It's very inviting. It says, please put a round in me. So that's what happens. It goes forward, puts a round in there, and it sits. And it's waiting for you to pull the trigger. Now, while it's sitting in there, you will notice this little guy right here. Where's my little pointy tool? Here it is. See this guy? this piece right there that is called the extractor and what that guy does is it holds on to the casing right in the back right there right in that lip it holds it while it's sitting in there remember that guy we'll come back to him in a minute now he's also a little indicator on uh, Glocks and a number of other models but certainly on Glocks See this, how it's flush right here, when you look down it? By it being flush like this, I guess you need to... I don't want to use the word assume, but you can assume that it is empty. The chamber is empty anyway. If there were a round in there, it would be sticking out a little bit, because it snaps around it, and it just... that's what it does. So, if it is not flush, and it is more like trying to get the light for you. See that? 
see how it's not flush? That would be an indication that it is loaded. All right, so that guy holds the round that is in there and it waits for you to pull the trigger. When you pull this trigger like that, that sound is the firing pin inside of here traveling forward and popping out that little hole. See that, that little hole right there? Actually, he's sticking right out. Look at that. That's the firing pin, or the striker as Glock calls it. Now it is gone. This guy's blocking it. Right? That's part of the safety. I'll, I'll get to all that in, a, in another video. But anyway. So it shoots forward when you pull the trigger and it hits this little guy right here. That little circle. That's the primer. And what that does, it takes all this gunpowder that's in here and it makes it go boom. It goes boom pretty big. It's, I guess it's small. It's real, you know, relative. It's all relative, but it's a pretty big boom for that little bitty guy. And what that does, when it explodes, the round comes out of this casing and travels out the barrel. And the force also causes the whole slide to shoot backwards. So if you've ever watched videos, if you've seen anybody shoot, watch them in slow motion, you can see it. It goes kaboom, and the bullet shoots out, which you typically don't see without a really, really high frame rate camera, and the slide goes back. When it goes all the way back, remember that extractor I told you about? This guy? Remember him? Well, he's holding on to the bullet, right? So, when this thing comes back, it pulls it out of the barrel until it hits this, this, which looks, maybe, see it right there? So, it comes back, pulling it back, but then it hits it. And once it hits it, it's only being held on this side, comes back, hits it, causes it to go like this, and the casing shoots out. It ejects out of this port. It goes that way. Now, see how there's no spring down here? These things are spring loaded. That's what this was. I will show you that really quick. Uh, look at this guy. So, these sit right here, and they're different weights based on different calibers. The explosion is varying. Okay. This is, I think, 20 pounds is what it takes of force. But I will show you. See how it's compressed? That's what causes this thing to shoot forward. Here, I'll just do it. So, explosion goes all the way back, ejects the casing, comes back forward thanks to this guy. And when it comes back forward, it starts the whole thing over. It takes the next round and feeds it into the chamber. And you're ready to go again. It's just like that. These bullets have a lot of force. They come out very, very quick. Uh, kind of depends on a number of factors. How hot they're packed, what caliber they are. But they, they come out, you know, eight or 900 or 1,000 feet per second. Heck, the 20, this guy... It's got some rounds that come out at 1,500 and 1,600 feet a second. If it maintained that kind of velocity, you know, the it, it slows down as it goes, obviously. But if it maintained, that'd be a whole mile in like three and a half seconds or something. It's pretty fast. I don't care who you are or what caliber you have. You're going to regret kicking in somebody's door if they hit you with one of these things. Anyway, so the force from that is able... I mean, that's, you know, that's some real force right there. So, I mean, that's it.
very basic. It's pretty easy. It's kind of ingenious. That's the full, uh, the full tour. If you have any questions, hit me up. Let me know. I'll try to explain further. I'm also going to put together another video showing the trigger and the safety. I think it's called the safe action, the Glock safe action. It's pretty cool. You've heard people say that you can throw a Glock and you can drop a Glock and you can kick it down the road and throw it off a cliff cliff and it'll never fire until you pull the trigger that's true it's physically impossible and i can i can show that and i plan to in another video thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions